results from Militia Man and Don 961 exchange rate of the dinar against the dollar. Uh, KTFA Don 961 parliamentary finance issues a package of reforms that includes imposing a value added tax and reviewing the dollar exchange rate. Economy News Baghdad, the Parliamentary Finance Committee issued proposals to address the financial crisis in Iraq, which included reviewing the exchange rate of the dollar against the dinar, establishing a national telecommunications company, and imposing a value-added tax. The reforms presented by Parliamentary Finance included the three axes, the first entitled Maximizing Revenues and Rationalizing Expenditures, and included the immediate activa activation of compulsory collection of services provided to the government, commercial, industrial, agricultural, and household institutions, such as electricity, water, sewage, landlines, and their deduction from grants and salaries, in addition to reviewing crude oil prices, the provider of the refineries and the unutilized government assets, such as real estate and land flow, through selling them by public auction, imposing a value-added tax of 12%, and obligating all institutions to send the Ministry of Finance's share of the total revenues up to date. It also included stopping the work of embassies in countries where Iraq does not have any diplomatic, commercial, or cult cultural exchange, negotiating to postpone the, do postpone the dues of oil companies or paying them in kind outside the OPEC quota, and allowing the export of gravel and sand and the investment of mineral resources such as phosphate, sulfur, sulfur I'm sorry, and uranium. On taxes, it included the formulation of the tax withholding ladder by supporting the low-income segments by raising the minimum tax level, adjusting the tax price of the people concerned to a price close to the price of neighboring countries, and imposing annual taxes on all cor cars according to their type. As for the second axis related to reforming the financial and monetary policies, it included the imposition of comprehensive insurance on cars, expatriates, cars, fuel stations, imported materials, companies, crude oil, building permits, residential units, etc., rationing, medicines, water stations, and the educational and educational process only. The reform paper also focused on the Ministry of Finance, in coordination with the central bank to issue an electronic dinar for the purpose of collecting government revenues and deserved tags, reviewing the exchange rate against the dollar, deleting zeros, freeing banks from the hands of the Ministry of Finance, and forming an independent financial body that includes banks, money transfer companies, and insurance companies, and reducing the interest rate on investment projects. As for the third access, it includes restructuring public and losing companies, establishing a national telecommunications company, and presenting disabled government factories and factories to the private sector.